From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with huge news about your stocks, your bonds, and your Ford Stimulus Check update of 2022. In today's recording, we go over that great Ford Stimulus Check in every U.S. state, and I'm going to show you how to get it. Lots of checks for you, single, married, with children, without children, and 85 thousand dollar Ford stimulus check it's coming up later in this recording then we turn to the changing developing details across the front as major economic news is hitting today we have that data coming in from Delta Airlines as they had to battle the rising price of gasoline and they had to raise the price of the fares did people fly or did they fly is this a housing market crash of 2022 analysis does this mirror what's going on also with the auto sales where they're increasing the cost of the go of the cars and people aren't buying them or is it not now the latest details on this fascinating part of the airline industry then we'll be turning to the changing developing details of that inflationary front the president's secretary for treasury spoke about inflation today and what did she say she said you got it very wrong last year so what is the administration doing today all the latest details on that front yesterday i told you that the price of gasoline domestically could surge out of control as the deal is being hatched by the Western Allies and China is coming off a lockdown. 185 a barrel international Brent crude. Well, today we learned that that number could go even higher. My goodness, even higher? Why? Because OPEC Plus is now vowing to ban Russian oil as well. Where did they come from? They actually cut their production. <laughs> now they're banning Russian gas. All the latest analysis across that board in today's recording on the gasoline issue. Then we'll be turning back to the Build Back Better Act that will give you fifteen to eighty thousand dollars of additional checks, on top of those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. How do you get these huge checks? You stay with me throughout this recording, and certainly stay to me the very end because I got a four stimulus check for you: single, married, without children, with children, on benefits, not on benefits. Step one: subscribe to this channel. Step two: become a member. And from the shores of Santa Monica, California, we have a big show today for June first, twenty twenty-two. It's breaking news tape later in the day because there is so much happening just minutes ago. It's stuff that you've never seen before and it's all brand new. It's afternoons and the excitement starts right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California. And good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful day from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Here in Santa Monica, California, it is gorgeous. I hope the weather is good where you are. It is hardly heat up across the country, and I don't just mean in the White House where they're bickering over student loan debt forgiveness. I'll have more about that later in this recording. But it's heating off across the country, and that heat will continue as inflation grows and recessionary worries kick in as well. What do we start the day with today? Well, Jamie Dimon, the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, said comments today that absolutely are nearly verbatim what I've been reporting on the channel for several months. For several months, I've been using the following statements on this channel. There's a storm out to sea. That storm out to sea is the recession. You can see it blowing. The wind has not come on land yet. And when it comes on land, that storm, that hurricane, that tornado is going to hit very, very severely. And that is what I've been using as an analogy on this channel for nearly three months. What did Jamie Pineman today, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, say? He said, I said, there's storm clouds out there, and they're going to change it into a hurricane. And brace yourself, this is not a minor one, this is Hurricane Sandy. He says that hurricane is right out there, and it's coming our way. Thank you for watching the show, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you for watching the show. You want an autograph? Uh, <laughs> right now, it's kind of sunny, he says, Diamond. Things are doing fine. Everything thinks the Fed can handle that. That hurricane is right out there. Down our the road, coming our way. No, it's not down the road. It's out to sea, Jamie. Get the expression right. <laughs> I said it's out to sea. It's not down the road. If it's down the road, it would already be smashing into homes. <laughs> you got to do the analogy right, Jamie. You know, you watch the show. You <laughs> make sure you repeat it correctly. The, the comments came today. 
as head of J.B. Borman Chase, one of the most beloved financial analysts in the business, said, you better brace yourself. And we're bracing ourselves in a very conservative way with our balance sheet. The statement is that the situation is going to uh, evolve much more serious than anyone predicts. Over the last few days, I've been telling you that another bank, not J.P. Morgan Chase, predicted that the price of gasoline is going to go to 185 a barrel. Oh my goodness! International price of Brent crude. What did J.P. Morgan Chase, or specifically Diamond, say today? He says potentially it could be hitting 150 to 175 a barrel. Then he also says the other problem with the situation is <laughs> uh, wheat and oil. Oh, Jamie, you really watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I always talk to you about the situation in Ukraine is the situation of the wheat and the oil. If you remember this channel, it, it's in the newsletter every night. I have the corn, the wheat, and the oil price every night in the newsletter for you. What does he say? The problem with the wheat and the oil is what's going to really cause major problems. He says oil almost has to go up in price and that there's going to be unintended expectation, uh, consequences. We're not talking proper, we're not taking proper actions to protect Europe about what's going to happen with the oil shortage. That's just on the oil front. Then he talks about other items at issue, which is basically, he says, he's not seen conflict like this for a while. The storm clouds out the sea are among the items that he's looking at when also considering the issue of the wheat shortage. Can you go without gasoline? Maybe. Can you go out without carbs? Never. <laughs> you can't go out with carbs. Years ago, there was a great quote that said, can you go without internet or can you go without coffee? Uh, neither. <laughs> well, can you go without cars, gasoline? Can you go without bread? Um, I'll, I'll get the EV. I'll, I'll ride the bike, but I have to have my carbs. And that is why JP Diamond, Jamie Diamond is um, very much correct. He says that the situation for food and fuel caused by the Ukraine war has not been addressed by the Western allies. <laughs> Thank you for watching the show, Jamie. Uh, and that the situation is going to be hugely volatile. What is this so important? Why am I leading with this? Uh, because we got it right again. Remember, my analysis you hear on this channel for this, for the storm clouds out to sea, for the storm about to come on land, for the wind you see picking up offshore, for the, for the price of wheat growing out of control from Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. This is an analysis you've seen on this channel since March, since day one of the invasion of Ukraine, and the analogy about the storm started in about April. This is why you're ahead of the ball game on this channel. Not a few days, not a few weeks, several months. I try to give you the prognosis of where this economy is going several months ahead of time. And what did we learn today? That my predictions on that inflation was very much on point, and that Janet Yellen kindly admits she had it very wrong. In a new interview released today, Janet Yellen, your Treasury Secretary, said her comments in December in 2021 that were very much in contradictory to what I said were actually wrong, she admits. <laughs> I said they were wrong at the time. I said that inflation is not going to be transitory, a fancy word for temporary, and that it's going to be sustained at 8%. Come in at 8% in December 2021 and be sustained. And that no one is really preparing it for us. Today, she admits the White House made a mistake. It was not going to be transitory inflation. It's going to be sustained. But did she give guidance on the, what the White House is doing to get that inflation down? I ran through the quote several times, and I couldn't find in there what the plan is with the White House. Now, they certainly said it's the job of Jay Powell to get that inflation down. But when talking about the situation, she talked a little bit about prescription medication costs. Uh, that's Build Back Better Act. Is that good news or bad news? I take it as good news. The Build Back Better Act is back under negotiation between Joe, My Joe Biden and uh, Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer. Two Democrats who really want to get it done, they say and they want to get it out to you with those checks before the midterm elections. This would give you a lot of checks, fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks, on top of the four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. If you're new to this channel, why are you hearing about four stimulus checks here and nowhere else? Because nowhere else anyone does the research. No one else does the analysis. The, the idea that the guy in the purple shirt here in Southern California has the analysis on the storms out to sea three months before the head of J.P. Morgan Chase announces it shows you how good we are as a team, you and I, and watching this data. I don't play games and I get you this data way in advance. And I also get you checks. A four-stimulus check is in every U.S. state. I found it for you. 
because viewers asked me to find it for you. And they did not go out by executive, they did not go out by congressional action, they went out by executive order. How do you get them? Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. What are you watching on this channel? You are watching the status of where this economy is, the status of where the economy is going, and get someone who's getting you actual checks. I'm not reporting the news of the checks. I'm actually getting you the checks. And later in this video, we're gonna go over all those incredible checks at issue. Why did I lead with J.P. Morgan's uh, Jamie Dimon at the top of this recording? Because the bad economic data is what supports the Build Back Better Act. There are two things that support the Build Back Better Act's passage. One, the midterm elections, which are always going to be there. And then two, the financial uncertainty about how bad this economy is going to be. Folks, if you've been watching with this channel, we said in the month of March when Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine that the price of bread is unsustainable at the current levels. It's still unsustainable. In fact, it's actually worse. We said that the price of gasoline, then surging from $100 international brand crude day one of the invasion to $111, was unsustainable after the month of May. That was what I said back in March. What happened last Friday? The price of gasoline surged to $120 a barrel. And then earlier this week and last weekend, I told you I'm predicting it now to go to nearly $200. 200 because the international price of Brent crude, my and most analyst analysis, will go to 185 and then to refine it, you have to put about another $20 on top of it, 200 J uh, Jamie Dimon today saying 150 to um, 175 is where he's at at the moment. He says huge volatility is coming, and that's a huge chance of flows of a flow of funds around the world being impacted. I do not know what the effect of this, but I'm being prepared at minimum for huge volatility. And and he says that the Federal Reserve is making people think that they're going to have it under control at the moment. They may not. Thank you, Jamie, for watching the show. Yeah, Jay Powell does not have this under control, and he'll never have it under control. And that is why you need to get these four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Let's go over the other data that came in today as well. There's a lot of breaking news, and I'm flying through it, and I'll have more about it tonight on ABGL8 in prime time. We had data that came in today fascinating this is really fascinating data the airlines i know every time i say the word airlines everyone rolls their eyes oh yeah because we remember those horrible airlines in 2020 when we needed stimulus and they kept on cutting in front of us in line to get their stimulus before us and then they got it and then they said they needed more and then the founder someone finally cut them off and said stop asking us for money so the airlines i know you have a bad taste in your mouth every time you say the airlines but let me tell you why their data is so important I wanted to see if their data is going to mirror what's happening in auto and the housing market crash of 2022. By analysis today, it looks like it could. Let me tell you what's going on. Delta Airlines reported today that the demand for travel, the demand, is back to pre-pandemic levels, back to 2019. But they have less pilots because they lay off too many during the pandemic. They have less routes, less capacity. And so what have they had to do? They've increased the price of the fares dramatically, nearly almost double, because of the price to operate the plane. It costs a lot of jet fuel. So are people buying the flights when there's less flights and when they're a lot more expensive? Does it sound so familiar? It does. It's exactly what we're talking about with auto sales. Exactly what we're talking about with housing sales. Less inventory, higher prices. Less inventory, higher prices. Are they buying at it? Well, at the moment, the traveler is, but the, the analyst on Wall Street says it's not sustainable. It's not going to continue this way. This is sort of a jugular reaction. You're out of COVID. You, want, you haven't traveled. You've been pent out for two years. You want to get out. You want to take a trip. And then after one or two times of paying 200% higher than you paid in 2019, you're going to say, hey, I'm not going to keep on overpaying, you know, 200% higher than I paid two years. A, a data, here's a data point. Uh, released today, the average fare average average fare in the united states is 400 dollars round trip i mean come on already 400 dollars round trip it used to be 400 dollars from los angeles to paris i mean and um, for many many years for 20 10 years was that that price point so the fact that it's 400 dollars average and i'm talking about delta i'm talking about air, air, airlines in general this data today shows that delta is forecasting higher sales good but what about the net revenue, net net income? Here we go. 
it's really expected to take a, a, a fall. And that is why the airline sh airlines were down dramatically today. There was massive cancellation of airline flights over Memorial Day weekend. People were stranded left and white, not necessarily for Delta, but everywhere else. And that was unseasonally climate. And then they didn't have the replacement uh, pilots. Let's look at the mortgage industry. This is brand new data just today. Again, June 1st, brand new. It's going to look like last Friday's data, but it's, it is brand new. Mortgage demand slipped to its lowest level since, not 2019, December 2018, as the rates were even higher than, uh, than predicted. As you know, the price of a 30-year fixed mortgage has surged out of control from February from about 2% to now 5.5%. And the mortgage rates fell off for the fourth time in five weeks as concern for the weaker economic growth and the weaker stock market drove Treasury yields down. Demand is high at the upper end of the market, and the supply and the foreign Belgium challenges are not as detrimental. I don't buy that quote. I'm not going to say who said it. Higher inflation in Europe and the ease of COVID lockdowns in China both took its toll on bonds. Yes. But why is this data so fascinating from the Mortgage News Daily today? It's exactly what we're talking about, Build Back Better Act. It's exactly what we're talking about with your stimulus. The revenue may be there, but the net profit is not. The demand may be there now, but it's not going to be there 90 days from now. You understood back in March when Putin invaded Ukraine, maybe you'll buy one loaf of bread at $6. But you're not going to keep on buying a loaf of bread at $6 indefinitely. You understand that maybe you'll have to fill out that gas tank one time at $5. But you're not going to keep on filling it up at $7. You can't keep on doing this indefinitely. It's it's a no, it's a dead end street. And that's what's happening with the housing market crash of 2022, the auto industry crash of 2022, and it's going to be the airline crash of 2022. No, I don't like the expression. Airline market, it, it, travel industry market crash of 2022. I don't want to sound like planes are crashing. Uh, why? It's all the same analysis. Less inventory, the the, the sellers in the, in the inventory do not want to absorb the cost and make less profit. They're passing over the cost to you by increasing the price. You're looking at the price. You're saying, no, thank you. I don't want it. No, no, no. I'll, I, I don't want it. You're gouging me. I'll walk away or whatever. You're, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're overcharging me. Uh, and you walk away and it doesn't sell. And then the industry implodes. The housing market has been doing that. They have been... Uh, of not absorbing the higher price of the sub -lab subcontractor's labor, not absorbing the price of the higher uh, material costs, increasing the price of the home, so thinking you would buy it, and then you don't. And then you look at the mortgage rates and you're like, I'm really not buying that house now. The auto industry doing the exact same thing. Less cars on the lot, then... They're taking the cars, and the auto industry, starting about two months ago, started increasing the price of the profit level for them from two thousand dollars last year to now five fifty one hundred dollars profit per car. Fifty one hundred dollars profit per car. That's not the price of the car. The profit of the car. That's basically three thousand dollars more profit per car than last year. People buying? No, that's auto sales is down dramatically. Auto sales down. Housing sales down. Travel destination sales. I think in 90 days. I think in 90 days, people are going to say, I'm not going to, I took my I took my trip for Memorial Day weekend. I'm not going to keep on spending $600 round trip from, from Los Angeles to Toledo. <clears throat> no events. Don't send me those messages. I'm from Toledo. It's worth every $600 of the bank, bank account. Uh, yeah, maybe it is, but I'm not spending $600 to go to Toledo. <laughs> I will go to Toledo when it's cheaper at another year uh, or another decade. Uh, <laughs> so LeBron's going to send me eight now. Uh, here we go to the Federal Reserve. Here is interesting data. The Federal Reserve had the the beige book released today, and you're going to say beige book. Um, is there another book like the, the like the muddle blue book? No, there's not. I do not have. I do not have control over the coloring of their books. <laughs> The Federal Reserve. They do have coloring books. And this one's called the Page Book. All 12 federal districts, uh, Fed districts reported continued growth according to the Beige Book. And the Beige Book was released Wednesday. And this is for data through mid, from mid-April through about May 22nd. So that's a little bit after the, the downward of spiral of the of the of the stock market crash. Uh, the surveys in two districts pegged increases selling prices from 4 to 5%, but contacts tended to cite labor difficulties as their greatest challenge. And the data is basically uh, positive news, but not inherently overwhelmingly great news. 
And then uh, the great news for you is that OPEC Plus may be banning Russian oil. Jeez, how wonderful is that? OPEC Plus would not increase production for us. <laughs> that other banning Russian oil. Uh, what is the impact on that, on you? You need stimulus. I'll have more about them later in this recording. But the great news is I have found you a fourth stimulus check in every U.S. state. If you knew this channel, what's going on? I have the unique ability to find money from stimulus packages across the country and from the federal government and from the President of the United States since day one of this channel. And I've been doing this for over two years. And Ma in March of this year, viewers were just a little bit sick and tired of the Build Back Better Act negotiations not done. And so they turned to me and said, "I like, can you find us a force stimulus check? Can you find us other force stimulus checks? Because the ones from the Build Back Better Act have not happened yet. And I looked on and low and I found them. I found a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state, and then I immediately featured the membership newsletter. It was check A. Days later, I found check B. Days later, I found check C. Days later, I found check D. Yes, I'm going to go over all these incredible checks. You're not going to see these anywhere else in the landscape of American broadcasting today. They're coming up in the second half of this video. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. As Kat, a longtime viewer, said in one of the live shows, I think it was on Saturday, she said, Ally, you do eligibility really well. well eligibility is really important when you do stimulus. You qualify for the stimulus. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. SSI, SSDI, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children, go get it. If you have my bacon, uh, really get it. <laughs> If you don't have my bacon, uh, then get out of here. <laughs> In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible shocks. Step one is to subscribe to this channel. Step two is become a member. And also in the second half of this video, I have a little preview of very exciting news you're going to love. Then we'll be looking back at that recessionary environment and why it's so important to get money right now. Then, of course, we'll be looking at what the Western allies are doing or not doing with that oil and why these OPEC plus comments today are shocking. Shocking. And then we'll look a little bit at China and what its impact will be on your price of gasoline at the moment. We got a lot coming up in the second half of this video. It's a big afternoon, and boy, we're going to have a big week as well. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. As America's Most Beloved Show at the Midday continues, it's afternoons. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on June 1st, 2022, is recording of Afternoons LA. What a beautiful day it is here along the coast. I'm so excited you're here, and I'm excited you have tuned in because I got you a force almost check in every U.S. state. Viewers asked me to get that check for them back in the month of March, and now it's across the board. Every U.S. state, how do you get it? Subscribe, become a member, get that newsletter, and stay with me because I'm going to go over all these incredible checks right now. It's the big second half, and all the exciting news starts right now. In the month of May, March, view of this channel, we're watching attentively to the negotiations of the Build Back Better Act, 
or lack of them. Mm -hmm. And they were said, Ella, can you go get us some forced stimulus checks? And I looked high and low and I found them. Executive order forced stimulus checks, lots of them, lots of executive orders of forced stimulus checks. And then also checks coming from states. It's a mixture of the two. The ones from Congress, that's later on the horizon. But these are law. These have been done. These have landed and viewers have got to them. Viewers have gone to them. If you just found this channel, you have never seen this channel before, welcome. What go on? What's going on right here? What's going on is I get people money. I literally go out and I find the item and I get it for people. Neil on Haystack, absolutely. Something that everyone's going to get? No. Something that people listen and pounds get. And then everyone else that sits around and just stand by the mailbox looks in that mailbox every day. Nothing will change for them. This is the incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. My focus in getting them was to get them quickly for you. I did. By March 30th, I had the first one. Number two, get checks that most of my viewers qualify for. Single individual, $75,000 less. Yes. Mary couple, $150,000 less. Yes. Go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. If you rent, if you own, absolutely. My focus was to get checks that the vast majority of my viewers could get. And finally, do it in a simple, easy way with a recording and then a newsletter where you just go click, 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 click. You know, there's a new uh, TV commercial that talks about buying a car with your phone. I mean, there's a lot of apps you can buy a car with your phone. But the, the guy in the commercial says, all you have to do is use your finger and your phone. Push, push, push. Sounds a little familiar. It does. We all have these finger analogies on the show. <laughs> so all you have to do is push, 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 and then... Uh, a car show up in your driveway? No, but a stimulus check does. <laughs> so let's go over all the incredible details, starting right now. The first check I call check A. I give them a lettering system, so we differentiate them for you simply across the board. I get big checks. I don't get small checks. I get huge checks so that you don't have to keep on being financially dependent upon anyone. $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check. Yes, you heard me right. $6,500 to $12,000. It's a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, yes, you can get it. It is called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. And if you're on benefits, you can get it as well. How do you get this? Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Under the video is the link to hit a subscribe, and then also under the video is the link where it says join here, join the channel, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP, then get that membership newsletter delivered by me to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Go down that wonderful newsletter and find that check A, and there it is, you click the link and you go apply. Just like that guy in the commercial with the phone and buying a car. He says, just push, 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 and then you buy a car. Same way here, except you're not buying something. You are getting stimulus applications in right away. But you're not stopping there right there. You are getting the push of the finger to that check B. Yes, check B is a monster check. Look at this amount of money. When was the last time anyone got you an $80,000 stimulus check? You tell me when. Never? Yeah, never. Because I get monster checks. Who wants a darn $600 check? It ain't going to last you more than, a what, a week? Two days? $600 you blow through in a second. You need $80,000. That way you sustained your financial independence for many months to come. Because as Diamond and, and L.A. both say, a storm is out to sea. It's a four stimulus check. Check B. It is called the homeowner's grant check. And how do you get that wonderful check B? Much the same way as check A. It's just lower than the same newsletter. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, go down that membership newsletter to find check B, and then hit the button and apply. Yes, check B is like check A. It's an online application. It's an online application. You click it, you go in and apply, and you get that incredible application in for that huge sum of money. But you're not done there yet because you're also going to go get that check C. Check C is monster, and it is an MSC, baby. Monthly stimulus check on average. It is for my renters and also my homeowners. $2,000 a month over 12 months. Yes, baby. That's what it's tracking at currently. But viewers have been getting this for many, many months. And many have averaged $45,000. A lot have averaged even more money. How do you get this? Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, go in that membership newsletter and go down to check C. When you're at Check C, you're not applying online. No, with Check C, you're making phone calls. Lots of phone calls. About 15 phone calls. The nonprofits, the city, the county, the states, lots of places to call 
and viewers have cleaned up with this money since day one. Day one, we started featuring Chexy in December 2020. Whoa, that is a long time ago. That is how many months I have gotten people Chexy. It's been called other things on this channel. It was initially called Purple. In December 2020, much like now, viewers said, LA, can you find us some money? Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin were negotiating the second stimulus package. It was not happening. People need money. And I looked high and low, and I found it. I found it as rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Then I got very, very fortunate. Perhaps the most fortunate document I've ever had on this channel was a preview of a piece of legislation coming in 2021. I coined the expression on this channel as I coined a lot of the things you hear that eventually become the landscape of American broadcasting. I called it third stimulus. And I said, with this becomes law, you're going to clean up because you have been doing this in December. Before this became law, you developed the skill set. I talked a lot about skill sets because that's what I teach people on this channel. This is an informational, educational, news, and sometimes humorous channel. And I try to give you skill sets so you are a better person. And that is why the viewers of this channel, when third stimulus became law, defied logic. I thought they were going to get 15000 on average. They got this. My goodness. twenty dollars to $30,000 of rent. Yes, this is what people got in January 2021. Were you a viewer then? If you just found this channel and you did not get $30,000 of rent in January 2021, well, now you know why you need to watch LA on a regular basis. Did you get $15,000 for utilities back last year as a viewer of this channel? If you did not, well, now you still can. And you found the place to learn about this. Snap, $25,000 a year over 10 years, a quarter million dollars. Snap is one of the real legacies of this channel. Kamos Nisi is a longtime viewer. She's in all the live chats. Even he's LA. See her tonight probably as well. She gets about $8,000 every few weeks. So she was at $23,000 back in November. This is the graphic then. She's over $50,000 right now. Mark, he's at $32,000. He grew from $32,000 to $50,000 to 100,000, to 166. Lorraine, she was at 105, then she went to 120. She's at even more across the board. That is why you want to get these massive sums of money. Step one is subscribe to this channel. Go at the top of this channel and hit that little subscribe button right now. Step two, there's a bell. Make sure you put that, hit that bell and put it to all notifications. Step three, become a member. Paid member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Then, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I deliver to all of you the membership newsletter. The membership newsletter delivered to you has a, a YouTube alert. And it says, New LA Post, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's the title. Then the line right below, it says, LA Newsletter. A little bit more in the preview. It says, click here to read the post. You click and read the post, you're right into the newsletter. There you go. Meantime, viewers are so thankful because I've done a self-help video on explaining how to open up the newsletter, how to use it and where it is located. If you need that newsletter, send me a private message on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash LA News, and I will send you that self-help video that explains everything you need to know. And with that, let's go back into the changing, evolving details of that gasoline situation. Those comments by J. Diamond at J.P. Morgan Chase and that recessionary pressure across the board. Meantime, it's going to preview what's happening up later in this recording and later this week as well. You know, one of those things that worries Diamond and worries L8 at the same time is lack of focus by the Western allies to get the solutions lined up. And it's not rocket science, but here Diamond and L8 are both agreeing that we had a problem day one when Putin invaded Ukraine, uh, and that problem is the commodities, wheat and grain, and uh, Ukraine, you invited Ukraine, you're going to have a problem with grain, and then also the problem with the oil. We've had this problem with the oil since day one of the invasion of Ukraine, and we knew it was going to be a problem back in October when I told you 100,000 Russian troops on the Ukrainian border. So what does Diamond really talk about? That it's going to be very volatile, and we don't know how high it's going to go. One thing that we learned today is that uh, L8, Jamie Dimon, none of us know what goes on with the oil producers. I can't tell you what OPEC Plus is going to do a month ahead of time or Venezuela or, or Iran. I just can't predict them. And today, <laughs> I couldn't predict this one either. What have I taught you about with that oil shortage since day one back in March? 
that we're missing three and a half million barrels a day of Russian oil now embargoed. Some people put it two and a half, some people put it three and a half. Then I also told you that OPEC Plus had decreased production since March and that a lot of people asked them to increase production, they would not. So that was a decrease in production of one million barrels a day. So suddenly we're missing three and a half million barrels a day and we don't have any ability to increase production in the United States of three and a half million barrels a day. We just don't do it, nor the Western allies. So what did OPEC Plus do today? OPEC Plus is now considering banning Russian oil as well. This is really interesting because they produce their own oil as OPEC Plus. Russia is... Uh, uh, is um, part of OPEC, uh, is part of the OPEC alliance, and that um, <laughs> the Russian energy minister had no comment to, to this news today because it is so confusing. Why would someone part of the alliance actually ban someone else part of the alliance? Moreover, what would it do to the price of gasoline? Uh, folks, this is just getting really bad, really, very quickly. I don't want to scare you to death, but I'm very scared. Um, I'm very scared. Let me tell you how bad this is. Let me go through all the different calculations. First, we had the shortage of oil because Putin invaded Ukraine. And then we had the initial Western allies banning some Russian oil. Okay, so that was when we went to 100 to 112. Then we had the Friday news, last Friday, where I told you, actually I told you all last week, but it happened, uh, it's, we started seeing it ramp up on Friday. And then on Sunday it happened. The deal by the Western allies, led by the European Commission, to ban Russian oil to all Western allies, with the exception of Slovakia, Rush, Hungary, and Czech Republic. Once they banned the Russian oil, the price of gasoline, international brand crude, surged from 100 to one, from 112 to 120. Okay, that's the second move. The third move, we're not even there yet. That is today. <laughs> today. Today, China, yes, Wednesday, China's coming off of lockdown after two and a half months the sub-variant of Omicron. When they come off of lockdown, they're driving their cars. They're increasing consumption. They're increasing the shortage. And that is what I had told you no less than a month ago would drive the price to 120 up $10. Just the increased consumption by China. Well, we already were at 120 when the news hit uh, last Sunday. So we're at 120 now. Now that China's coming off of lockdown, I would add another $10 just for China coming off of lockdown. That's at 130 Okay, could we go even higher than 130? Well, the next part of the equation is the Western allies. Just what they did last weekend, a lot of people thought that would raise it another $60. Okay, now we're at, we're at almost 190, 200. You need to add another $20 for refinery because lately what we see in the United States is whatever the international price of Brent crude is, domestically it's about $20 to $30 higher here when you correlate it out. And then, <laughs> today we have OPEC Plus. Today we have OPEC Plus saying we're going to ban the Russian oil. So where's OPEC Plus going to get their oil from? I know they make oil, but this is another cutting out of the oil. If everyone keeps on cutting out oil and no one has anything replacing it with, folks... Every, I, I, I feel like this is Javita Light 2020 all over again. Javita Light used to move the moving goalposts every 10 seconds. It would be here, and then she moved the goalposts. So you move the goalposts again, and move the goal. This is what's happening with oil. I did not expect I was going to have the deal with the Western Allies last Sunday. I really didn't. I, I thought it was going to be about another month. And I said, okay, we're going to go from 112 to 120 with just China. We went to 120 when the announcement of the Western Allies deal came. Then, now we have China. Add on top of that, now we have the, 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 cause, the cause and effect of the Western Allies. Then today we have OPEC Plus. We're just getting started. And guess how much oil they have to replace it with? <laughs> A big, fat, beautiful zero. Zero. No one has gotten anything lined up from Venezuela. No one's gotten anything lined up from Iran. No one's gotten anything lined up anywhere. No, we cannot produce enough gasoline in the United States to, to supplement this out the door. And yes, I had a little, a, a little bit of a disagreement with someone in the live chat last night. We do have refineries in the United States, and the, the part of the Gulf Coast uh, on, uh, of, of Texas does have oil that is ready to pump right into the, in the gas stations. But that is not 3.5 million barrels a day missing. That's, you know, hundreds of thousands, not uh, barrels, not 3.5. 5 million. 
how bad is this going to get? How bad is this going to get? Over the last few days, I said we're going to seven dollars a gallon at the pump. Uh, in the next, what did I say? I think I said the next thirty days or ninety days. Some viewers are saying uh, Fourth of July weekend. No, I think they're there. I think we're there now. If this OPEC plus uh, agreement or deal or talking point happens, you absolutely are going to see gasoline go so much higher. Then when we start to see the impact of that China lockdown over and they see them driving, it's going to be it's going to be delayed. It's not a mere cause and effect. It's going to be 30 days out. You can see that hit. Folks, $200 international Brent crude ain't $7 at the pump. No, 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 no. It's $9 at the pump. Uh, in Los Angeles and California, it's already close to $7 right now. And we don't even have any of the things I just told you hitting yet. LA could absolutely go to $10 a gallon. I mean, it's ridiculous I'm even making this according $10 a gallon. And with that, what do you think happens to the economy? <laughs> what do you think happens to the economy? Every single thing that you imagine can go wrong goes wrong. Employees don't want to show up to work. They don't want to make the drive. They can't afford the drive. Employees ask the boss for more money. Some bosses have to pay them more money because otherwise the business is going to shut down. Then the bosses don't make any profits. Then the business go under. Yeah, things just sort of ravel on. Um, the, the home builder can't finish the home and then he has to increase the cost of the house. Then the house doesn't sell and then yeah, it just it keeps on getting very, very bad. Too many industries are dependent upon oil. Too many industries are dependent upon gasoline. And, and while we can maybe cut our carbs... <laughs> I'm speaking for you, not me. I can't cut my carbs. <laughs> While some of you can cut your carbs, I can. This this uh, this economy cannot cut its oil. We cannot suddenly just stop using oil. We can't, and that is why the situation is going to get very, very bad, very, very quickly. And anyone who thinks it's just a beautiful walk in the park right now, it's just so gorgeous, such a walk in the park. That is really what Jamie Dimon was doing today. I know he's doing what I've been doing for the last three months. He's repeating verbatim nearly what I've been saying for the last three months. But uh, there's a time and place in which you really need to wake people up. And the language that's coming out is getting more vigorous. And I got to tell you why. People aren't listening. People aren't listening. Not that you aren't listening to me. People think that this is good times, here to come, forever. The circus is in town, and let's just all have, uh, let's just all have that, um, that, that fried um, f uh, waffle, uh, that fried waffle with the wonderful um, uh, whipped cream on top. Let's just have that all day long, and it's going to be absolutely like, uh, like a pinata, and it drops dollar bills every time you shake it. <laughs> it's not happening. Not happening. And so that is why you absolutely have to get every fourth stimulus check that I have for you. I don't care if you don't like the check. I don't care if you think the check is too much. I don't care if you don't like to use your phone. I don't care if you don't like to use your computer. I don't like if you don't like to read. I don't like it. care if you don't like to write. You go get this money because it's a time for you to hustle right now. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Understand, no one else puts the effort in there and cares for you as deeply as I care for you. And every day, I try to sort of amp up the pressure a little bit more. I try to really sort of uh, not do the doom and gloom more than the night before. But I try to tell you, folks, what are you waiting? What are you waiting? It's going really, to be really bad in 90 days from now. And I don't want someone showing up in 90 days from now saying, do you have any money for rent? Yeah, I've had money for rent on this channel for two and a half years. Where have you been? You get this money right now. You don't wait. You don't wait. And that is why. Step one, you subscribe. Step two, you become a member. Step two, you get the incredible newsletter. No one cares as much as I care. No one puts in the effort that I put in. No one helps one another as much as you do. You go in those live chats, you continue to post the encouragement to one another. You continue to, to post your success stories. I don't care if your success stories was yesterday or a year ago. You post a success story. You encourage other people. You congratulate people. You say, hey, let's do it. You keep on being that motivator for everyone else. We are not here to talk about uh, no, not, never, not, knee, no, and uh, and yet. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Uh, you, We are here to say yes, yes, absolutely. Get it. 
wonderful because this is a spirit. This is what we do. And this is what I've been doing since day one. When that the pandemic hit and people said, I applied for that EI deal grant, I never got it. And until you came on the planet, no one was motivating me. No one was motivating me to go out and get that EI deal loan and grant application complete. I put the application and I wasn't getting the money. I just felt lost. I felt like no one was there to help me and give me that encouragement. You gave me the encouragement, Ally. You encouraged me to go get that money. You pushed me. And that is why I want you. I didn't realize that <laughs> until viewers kept on saying it. The encouragement is infectious. So encourage the viewers in live chat. Encourage other people. Be positive. Be focused. Be motivated. We are here with yes, 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 and yes. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. And yes, stay with me for Evening's LA tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It'll be a late taping, so it will be the latest update across the board. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Go get this big sums of money. Step one, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get an incredible check in every U.S. state. Congratulations to all the wonderful members who joined overnight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Stay informed, stay focused, and see you tonight on Evening's LA.